Hello beautiful people, welcome to our talking spot. This is where we start our videos off in our garage on the fourth step. Hey! Guys, this is my beautiful mother right here. Do you support me in everything that I do? In everything. That's so sweet, do we love that? I'm gonna try not to blow up the garage while you're going. All right, so today what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be using more Kool-Aid. I got a lot of DMs saying, hey, you should use more Kool-Aid for your lures. So what we did, we went to Walmart. Got a measuring cup right here. We got the next flavor. What we have now is the Tropical Punch flavor. I'm not sure if it's actually blue, because I mean, the only Kool-Aid that you really see is the cherry. So if you didn't see the first Kool-Aid video, basically what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this Tropical Punch Kool-Aid for colorant in our soft plastics. Normally these are what we use different fishing colors. We have like watermelon, June bug, basic stuff. Instead of that, we're gonna be using Kool-Aid today. In a later video, we're gonna go and try to catch a fish on our Kool-Aid lures. The first batch, you know, we just do straight. We just do straight Kool-Aid and see what color we get. The second time, we're gonna do some flake. Depending on what color the first batch is, that's what's going Going to determine what color I use for the second one and then the third one. These are some of the colors that we got with the cherry Kool-Aid. Um, I'm guessing blue. I'm honestly not sure. I know I should probably know this. I'm not even sure if I've ever had Tropical Punch Kool-Aid. So we're just going to get right into it, guys. We're going to go ahead and start melting down our plastisol so we can add our Kool-Aid color to the plastic. With the Kool-Aid, last time we put the Kool-Aid back into the microwave and that doesn't work. Make sure that the plastic is off. We're going to try to get a little bit hotter than it needs to be because you can't put this stuff back into the microwave and it just, if you do, it just bubbles up. So that's not good for anybody if it just bubbles up because you don't want holes in your soft plastics. If you have holes in them, there's blah, blah, blah. All this stuff can happen. It's just not a good thing. So we're going to go ahead and add our cup of plastic salt. Now we're gonna add our hardener just to make sure that it's nice and firm. Actually fish with these and they're not gonna break apart on us. All right guys, we can go ahead and pull it out of the microwave. Add some salt to this. This basically like weighs it down so it'll sink in the water and they won't float. You don't want your soft plastics to float. Unless that's the look you're going for, you know, to each his own, but. Me personally, I don't want mine to float, so we're gonna add some salt to it, mix that in. Now we're gonna take the temperature, see how long we should put it back in the microwave before we add our color to it. Cause it's almost at the right temperature, but we're gonna put it back in there for a couple more seconds just so we can get a little bit hotter than it needs to be before we add our color to it. Very interested to see what is this gonna do to it. All right, should be good. Pull it out, give it a little stir before we add our color. Um, this is the same color as the cherry Kool-Aid. Okay, so this is the same color as the cherry Kool-Aid, so hopefully it's a different shade. What? So are all Kool-Aids the same color? Oh, it smells good though, it smells really good. Guys, I will include a taste test on this video for y'all because that was the number one comment on TikTok, do a taste test. Actually, these are a little bit lighter. Like, these smell a lot better than those did. Sit that towel under there. This actually smells really good. It cooled on us, it's cool. We weren't quite hot enough, hopefully we feel, I think we should be good though. The first one might not be good, but the rest should be. Go ahead and open the mold, just because it probably didn't feel the first time. Oh okay, guys, so we got our fancy mold opening stick here, so. Bro, they real deal. They're just like a tad bit lighter than these right here. I really honestly thought this Kool-Aid was gonna be blue because it's in a blue pack, but it's not blue. So whoever designed that, oh, they're actually filled. This, it's only these two right here that didn't fill all the way. We'll just take those off, throw them back in there. Huh, it's very interesting. Okay, so if I went and got like grape Kool-Aid, would those be any different? That'll be the next video. We're gonna try grape Kool-Aid. This is gonna turn from a series of like making lures out of Kool-Aid to what color is Kool-Aid. I honestly thought that these were gonna be blue. That is, I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. Huh, that's different. Now, who would have thought that Kool-Aid in a blue pack would not be blue? 
All right, guys, so this is what we got. This is just like a straight red color. It's not, um, I'm trying to think. It's like a, I don't know what to compare it to. It's like the red on the Zoom bags. That's the closest color I can think of. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna add some flake. In these, we did silver and then we did gold and green. So we're gonna try to switch it up a little bit and maybe we can get a little bit different flavor with these. See, that's what I don't understand. I honestly had no clue that this cool leaf was Red. My mind is so boggled by this right now. So how are you supposed to know if you buy cherry Kool-Aid? What if you buy cherry and tropical or fruit punch, whatever flavor this is, and you like serving that at a party and somebody's allergic to cherry Kool-Aid? How are you supposed to tell the difference? I don't know. Okay, before we do this for the second time, just let me know. Is there anything that you want to see me add to these soft plastics? Just let me know. Also, if you know if grape Kool-Aid, is grape Kool-Aid a different color? If it's not like a June bug color, like a actual grape color, purple, let me know because I'm not going to do it because there's no point in doing it if it's just gonna look the same. I'm gonna send an angry letter to Kool-Aid. I'm actually kind of mad about this. I don't want to heat it up too much because then it'll just, it'll burn and after it burns, it stinks. And then there's, it's really not any good for anybody if you burn it, so. All right, so for this one, let's do black and blue because we haven't used either one of those colors yet. Guys, I know a lot of y'all always reach out to me about like making these and stuff. One thing, one question I get a lot is why do they break apart? You have to let these sit for like at least 24 hours before you try and go fish them because they are gonna break apart on you if you don't. Um, I made that same mistake, but you have to like let them cool, let them cure. They necessarily had to be in water, but or don't keep, don't leave them in water, but leave them in water for about 30 minutes and then take them out. Sit them on the counter for, let them sit for a day and then you can take them out and fish them. Cause if you take them, if you fish them right after they come out of the mold, they're just gonna break apart on you cause they're not cool yet. All right guys, we're gonna take this plastic salt out of the microwave. It is probably burnt, but hey, it is all good because it'll be good for the video. This plastic salt is super clear, but we have sinking stick baits and not floating stick baits because floating stick baits, I mean, I'm sure you could fish them, but could you fish them hard, basically? You know what I mean? You see what I did there? Ah, uh, that was a bad joke. Okay, blue. You stir it some more, mix it around. I'm gonna guess and say we're at like right at 300 degrees. 301, 304, yeah, we're pretty close. That was a pretty good guess, son, good job. We are gonna put this back in the microwave for about 20 seconds, because we're gonna try to get a little bit hotter than it needs to be, so it doesn't cool on us like it did last time. Back out. Give that another swirl. Same color. Kool-Aid does a pretty good job over there color maintainment process. Let's see what that looks like. Send it in. Ooh, we might be onto something here, guys. We honestly might be onto something here. Freak me, that's not good. Baby, let's freaking go. Here we go, here we go. I haven't looked at the actual stick baits themselves yet. Ooh, those actually look really good, guys. Look at that. Those are gonna be great for fish catches. Fishing video, I'm calling it, this is gonna be like a PB bait right here. <laughs> now I'm not gonna say all that, but hey, that looks really good. Plate next. Start a bait company just making lures out of Kool Aid. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and open up this last mold and see how these turned out. Okay, here we go. What do y'all think, good or bad? The last one we did, those are actually really cool. Ooh, these look pretty cool too. 
this purple, ooh, the purple in these looks like superb. When I hold the base up to the light like this, well, you can't really see it on camera, but I just like look for little air bubbles and air pockets in them. Guys, those look really good. Not sure if it'll focus on them. Yeah, I mean, those look superb. Guys, right, so I'm gonna take these baits in the house and we're gonna do our taste test and we're gonna do like a final little overlook of them. So, see y'all in the house. All right, hello, beautiful people. So we are back in the house, the wonderful house here, and we're gonna do a little taste test for you. We're just gonna break us off a little piece. I put salt in these too, I didn't think about that. Probably just gonna be salty. Mm. Tastes like salt, and you can like smell the Kool-Aid in your mouth, if that makes sense. Like, it doesn't taste like actual Kool-Aid. No, it's there, you know, it's weird. Um, it's, they do smell like Kool-Aid though, which is cool, but as far as the taste, the salt really throws off the potential of the good Kool-Aid juicy flavor that it could have. Yeah, so these don't taste like Kool-Aid. Um, hopefully you enjoyed that. These actually turned out really good. I actually really like these. Like, I would make these and sell them if I had to. I would say that this is a successful video. I'd say that these probably turned out better than the ones before it did. Even though the Kool-Aids were the same color, but don't get me started on that. I'm still kind of confused on that part. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If there's anything else that y'all want to see me mix into these soft plastic lures, just let me know. Don't forget to fish them hard and have a good day.